welcome back to an amazing episode of the Fit Biz Journey podcast. Guys, in this episode, I have the dynamic duo back on our podcast. That's right. Chris and Eric Martinez is joining us out from California. And that's right. They are back on our podcast. And this time, they are celebrating a new book launch that is coming out this week as you're listening right now. And we are going to talk about the current state of fitness while we're discussing how this book might be able to help you to get over what's going on right now in the United States. And guys, as you know, this episode would not be possible with our amazing sponsor, Fit Degree, the no pain software solution for fitness businesses. Daniel, what is going on? So uh, over here from California, crazy California with this pandemic going on. So thank you for having uh, Chris and myself back on. Uh, this is the second time we've been on your show. So thank you very much. And again, two humongous sets of eyebrows and these Zoom screens taking over everything. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that Zoom is, thank God for Zoom, but I'm not a big fan of this. I way liked it so much better when we were in person. Oh, yeah. The podcast was so much cooler. And, uh, and I cannot wait to get back to that normal. But I appreciate it and we make the best of it. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm excited for you guys because you, you just said that you actually have a new book coming out. And I cannot wait to hear more about it because I really know and heard. I haven't read it, but I'm going to read it as soon as I get my copy is that I wanted to share it with our audience because it's literally speaking to our actual audience. Is that right? Absolutely. And if I could sum it up for your audience, like in an elevator pitch, um, this book, Rise of the Fit Pros, is to help you make an additional one to two thousand dollars per month using the concepts and frameworks that we have in this business, um, this business book. So, literally, uh, we, we wrote this book in November, and we're just putting it out literally like in a week, you know, from now. And we're excited because I mean, we've worked with you know hundreds of fitness professionals the past three years in our Dynamic Fit Pros program and helping them make more income, influence, impact, and independence. So, everything that we've kind of learned the past decade with entrepreneur scars, investing money, losing money, um, being in, in tight niche circles. Um, we've learned all this stuff and put it all into this book. So we're really excited to get it out to fitness professionals, help them make an additional one to $2,000 per month. Firstly, their newest book. I'm super excited. You guys know that I'm a bookworm. I love to read and I love to read business books. So I wanted to find out, is this book for owners or personal trainers? Should a gym owner read it or no? Should a personal trainer read it or no? And the reason why I'm saying this is because a gym owner and a personal trainer are two entire different things. And if you are a business owner right now who owns a gym and not training clients, then a book that is written for a personal trainer on how to get clients, how to be better, might not be for you at all. And if it's there's a book that is straight up business and you're a personal trainer, a coach, and you're only focusing on training clients, then that book is not for you. And even though you can learn from it, here's the thing, your mind wired differently at this point. So you are not able to pick up the same thing that somebody who's wired, whose brain is wired differently on business or on coaching would able to pick up the same book. So that is why it's super important to find out if this book is even for you. So this book is literally for personal trainers, um, online coaching, uh, online coaches that are already in the game with it, uh, yoga teachers, uh, Pilates, uh, CrossFit, you name it, you know, so that's the beauty of this because the frameworks, the concepts, everything that we teach in it are very applicable to any type of coach and more importantly to go online and have a consulting business. So some of the things to expect in it is literally, you know, how do you, how do you tell your story and how do you, uh, you know, really just get, uh, narrow down your personal brand, your niche, your avatar are your clientele how do you differentiate yourself as a, a personal trainer from all the other ones out there your messaging I mean pricing packages how to create lifetime valuable customers I mean there's so much in this book that we put into it to where if they really read through it and they take action like on all the frameworks and all the cool little images that we have in there then they're gonna put themselves in a great position yeah. And I think too, Daniel, like just to add to that, what makes this book different and what's made us different, like from other, like, you know, fitness business coaches is we don't sit there and, you know, advocate to go hundred percent online. You know, yeah. we sit there and advocate the hybrid training model of in-person and online. And I know this pandemic has hit us, but I still believe though, there's going to be an opportunity for still doing one-to-one, -one, you know, personal training. I don't think that's going to get completely wiped out, but yeah, absolutely. Right now you have to have an online component if you're doing personal training in person. And that's what this book teaches you how to do. Yeah. Yeah, more than ever before, people want to be socializing because they have been closed down and social distance, aka social distancing. So this would be a perfect timing. And did, so did the book already come out so people can actually buy it? 
So no, it actually comes out, uh, you know, in, in a week, but depending when you put this out, it'll probably be out. But yeah, our goal, it was funny because our goal was to put this out in late uh, February of this year, but then everything kind of hit right with this pandemic. So we were less like, uh, this probably isn't a good time to put this out. And we had to kind of just step back a little bit and just even tweak it up a little bit and just see the bigger picture. And right now, you know, is now is, is a, a best time than, than ever, just because again, so many personal trainers have been put out of their jobs. So many gyms have been closed down to where this book literally is going to bring people hope. And that's my whole intention behind it is a $10 book, you know, can bring you so much value and so much hope as a fitness professional going forward and show you the possibilities of your future going online, having different revenue streams, creating more impact, helping more people, literally just having one of the best professions ever in the world. So yeah, I mean, it's, it was frustrating not being able to launch it when we did, but I think it all happened for a reason. So this is the time when you actually read a new book. The reason for that is because your mind is completely messed up. And what I mean by that is you are completely in the, in the uh, what do you call it, the uncomfortable. The reason why I'm saying this is because our whole world is upside down right now. We have all these issues going on. We have riots. We have so many bad things happening. And the coronavirus and the businesses shut down. There's just so many things. So this is literally the time when your brain is open for new things. And you're not in your comfort zone when you're like, oh, here's a new book, here's a new suggestion. Try this out, this is how you get 10 new clients. And you would be like, I don't need 10 new clients, I'm good, and what I'm doing is good. Even though I'm only getting three out of it, I'm good. No, right now, is your brain, when you read something, will pick it up like this. So that is why it's super exciting and super good time to read as now. And if you don't like reading, audiobook is available as well. And I'm not selling this book on you. I'm just trying to suggest that there's some change that you need to be done. And this is a completely new thing that just came out, a new book that your competition have not read yet. So if you read it over your competition, then you have that much more. It's only going to take you an hour and a half, two hours to read this. And then if you take action on it, you are that much more advanced than the competition down the stream from you. One of our core tenants in our Dynamic Fit Pro program is to be a fitness marketer for first and a coach second. And I know a lot of people don't like hearing that, but it's the reality of it. You have to, you're going to be a part-time marketer. You're going to learn sales, right? If you really want to take your profession to that next level, which we advocate, right? Um, and, and in this book, you know, um, it's literally a decade of like us sifting through marketing sales books, investing in courses, investing in 20, $25,000 masterminds, coaching days, right? Everything in, in 10 years is bundled inside this 125 page book. So it really is a no brainer if you're a fit pro. And uh, so let's talk about that too. So, because you guys have been at it for a while. So when did you actually, both of you, when did you guys started in the fitness industry? When, let's start with training clients first, because you guys did that. And then now you guys training actual trainers and gym owners. So let's, let's start with the very beginning. So the audience, if they haven't heard of you, but I'm pretty sure they did, but if they haven't for some reason, then you guys can fill them in so they know that they're talking to the actual pros who wrote the book. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, you, uh, you want to take it way back. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, it was about a decade ago, you know, so we've been in this, this whole fitness industry for about a decade and that's how we first started, right? As, you know, personal trainers, we worked at a commercial gym. Then we went into a, you know, private gym to where it was just like one-to-one -one where we paid, you know, uh, an overhead rent there, got, got a lot of clients, learned a lot of different skills. And then we hired a mentor, uh, Dr. Lane Norton and he was doing online very early on and we kind of saw, oh man, like this is going to explode, you know, going forward. So we learned under him for a few years, saw everything he was doing and we we're just like, ah, there's two of us. We have a big passion for this. We could do this and we could probably even do this even better. So that's when the light bulb moment hit and we built our business dynamic duo training, which was all online based. And, you know, we've served thousands of clients for, I want to say seven to eight years. And then after that, you know, the last three years, we started our dynamic inner circle, dynamic fit pro program, uh, helping personal trainers, you know, build and scale their businesses online and in person. So that's kind of where all this kind of just took off. Yeah, that is amazing because so many people um, I have met and then they went through the actual steps just like you guys did because, and that's the best way because, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you two and all of our listeners right now could relate to this, but I have received, and I'm guarantee you, everybody who's listening right now also receives on LinkedIn, Facebook, and even Instagram, those DMs when people can guarantee you the 100 uh, new clients, just like in the email you receive, I can guarantee you the number one spot on Google. So 
that's happening all the time. And then to hear that you two actually went through the whole process, how people are supposed to actually get better and then eventually they master it and then they reteach it and learn it after the 10,000 hours invested. It's just really good and reassuring, you know, to hear that you guys actually did that and had a mentor as well. Yeah. And let me, let me add to that point. That's a great point, Daniel, that you bring up because yeah, there is so many just like fake coaches that will just, you know, over promise and under deliver. And that has never been our motto as coaches and, and mentors to our students. Okay. So it's like when we, when we say, you know, we struggled, I mean, we really struggled, you know, when we first started off like building our online business, like it was tough, even till this day, it's been tough building a business. It's not an easy thing. And if people understand that and reframe their mind, that it's more of like a lifestyle that you have to play the infinite game, not the finite game in business, then it's going to be a much more enjoyable process and understand that like you're learning, you're a constant student, you're helping people, you're serving people, you're changing lives. And that's the beauty of it. I mean, that's the instant gratification that you are chasing as a fitness professional. So I just like to put that out there because there is no easy handouts in, in a business or building a business. And you know that too, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. And then also I wanted to ask you guys too, because you also have the inner circle, which is also, I mean, you, what do you call your um, mastermind group that you have for actual trainers and coaches? Because I see that you guys had that when you get the personal trainers together. Yeah. So, so like we started off with, uh, if you see the banner back there, it says dynamic inner circle. So that was all strictly, um, a VIP program where we had, you know, fitness professionals come to Los Angeles, you know, for six hours, we'd break down their whole business. Then we'd have an eight week continuation with that program. But now, you know, since we've done that for three years and the whole pandemic hit, I don't know if a lot of people are going to be flying cross country to Los Angeles and spending <laughs> six hours with us right now. So that's why our new program is called the dynamic fit pro program. That's a six week program, which I can talk more about, or we can talk about later but that's also in the book as well too. So we had to shift a little bit too, just like everybody else during this pandemic, you know? So guys, I really wanted to ask Eric and Chris that what they think about numbers. They are coaching fitness businesses, personal trainers and gym owners on how to run their business. So I really wanted to find out if numbers are important to them or not. And if they have any sections about numbers in their book. We actually have our, um, our CPA. He actually did a couple of modules for this program. And then we also have um, somebody with fitness law that comes in. And then we also have a financial advisor that has all videos in this stuff because I believe if you're, if you, even if you're a fitness professional, like to be a well-rounded entrepreneur, it's like you said, you have to know your numbers and you have to know somewhat of a baseline stuff with like taxes, fitness law. I'm not saying you have to be an expert. That's why you hire, hire out, but you have to sit there and have a baseline knowledge because then you're going to screw some things up that you don't want to sit there and go down those rabbit holes with by making mistakes or trying to cut corners. And also if you hire somebody out, you know, they can't screw you because you have a baseline knowledge already of some of these different areas. Yep. Yeah. And uh, do you guys have any recommendations for uh, gym owners, personal trainers, what they should use? as far as people or software or anything like that in the book too, or, or no? I'm not sure if we, we mentioned exactly what the software uh, stuff is in um, the book, but I mean, obviously what I, what I just tell my students is literally like, if you want to just start off, use like a basic, you know, Excel spreadsheet, have your profit and losses, you know, expenses, all that stuff, you know, what you're doing within the context of your business. But then you can go up to doing like, you know, um, what's it called QuickBooks. There's another one called, um, I think it's, called Xerox or something like that, but there's different platforms that you could use. And then obviously you want to get to that, that level where you hire a bookkeeper or a really good CPA that, that it's going to really keep track of all that stuff. Yeah. Cause I'll tell you a quick story. Like when we first started off at dynamic, <laughs> this was like probably like 2013. This is when we first got profitable, man. And we moved to Los Angeles in a tiny little studio and we got super lucky because we were only paying a thousand dollars for rent. And we were, that's all we did was just work, work, work. We didn't know anybody out here. We didn't do much. Right. So we stacked a lot of money and we made a huge mistake of just trying to do everything ourselves. And then when it came tax season time to hire somebody, we had to pay, I think like close to $50,000 in taxes. And that was our mistake. Luckily we had the money there for it, but that was like a huge light bulb to where it's like, look, like yeah. never again, like we're going to start this fresh the next year. We're hiring somebody to do this stuff because I'm not paying 50 K every single year for taxes. There's no way. I blame that on Chris. <laughs> and, and guys, if you're listening, as funny as it sounds right now, it's very painful. And then the second is, is that I made this mistake too. And I met so many successful entrepreneurs who made the same exact mistake, especially when it comes to money, taxes and all these things. So mm -hmm. if you guys hearing this, don't just like, oh, if I have time, I'm not profitable or whatever you're thinking or saying, that is not true. Everybody thought that at first and then all of a sudden it hit you like a brick 
and you just lost so much money or you might even went out of business because just for that little reason. So make sure you're listening to what you are saying and what Chris and uh, Eric were saying just now because it makes a huge difference. You heard it. Numbers are super important. Everybody, including myself, got burned because of numbers before. And you hear it every time I go to any speaking engagement, they say numbers, numbers, numbers. So you guys, if you are not on your numbers and if you don't have a software that can actually help you with numbers, and if it's not clear when you log in that this is how much they pay me, this is how much I owe them because they paid for X much, this is how much money is still coming in, this is how much I have to collect, and all these things and how much taxes you and all these things all combined. If you don't have a clear vision when you log in, and all you need is literally every day, like five minutes, if you're able to look at it and understand everything, you're good. But if you have to search for it and you can't figure it out and you can't have a straight answer on what the hell is going on with your numbers, then you're going to lose no matter what. So that is why I literally partnered up with Fit Degree and they sponsored us because I was like, guys, you guys are doing such a good job on helping the gym owners from taking the pain out of numbers because they are really good at the numbers part. And their number one thing is to have you everything at your fingertips so you can run your business successfully and painfully. And then on top of that, you guys already know this, they are all about the community and they want you to have that community as well. So they built in so many cool integrations that you guys need to check out. So again, from the sponsors, if you guys haven't checked them out, Fit Degree, you should definitely check them out because it's really helping you and us to be a better business. Like something else too really quick is like some of our students, like they were freaking out when this pandemic hit, you know, we put them at ease and told them to start applying for like the PPP and even like the EIDL, right? Because trying to get some of that money out there. And some of the students that we recommended in the past, like, hey, go with these CPAs and stuff like that. The ones that listen, they got like $10,000 checks, you know, from these, these aides out there. And they, they were just not as frantic and not as worried anymore because they listened, right? The other ones that didn't listen, I mean, obviously they were kind of scrambling to figure out how to pay bills for a little bit. Yeah. And let me add to that really quick too, because the ones that we told too, right? We're like, you know what? A CPA and a bookkeeper obviously is an investment, right? You know, you have to pay these people, you know, if they're make, putting really good work into your business. And a lot of them were like, eh, it's an extra expense. And it was just, again, that scarce mindset, right? The money belief system. And that's exactly what we try to do with our students. And even in this book, we talk a lot about is just like rewiring your brain to have a good positive energy and relationship with money. You know, money's good. Don't have that scarce mindset to where if you're a business owner, if you're trying to scale your business, get to the next level, you're going to have to spend money to make money. And it's very important. So guys, after the, about this five minutes of discussion of how important are numbers, you really need to look into your software. If that software gives you the numbers, stay with it, then it's great. But if that software does not give you the numbers and the ease for you to get those numbers and know how your business is doing right now, if the answer is confusing or you're don't, not sure about it, then just call a fit degree. No matter what's happening, I just want to make sure that you're successful. And that is why we got into that sponsorship with them because they are helping you guys. So now I want to find out what would be like the number one takeaway from Chris and Eric Martins's new book, Rise of the Fit Pros. So I like this acronym um, called uh, own, create and serve, right? So this is something that I've used all throughout, you know, 10 years of being an entrepreneur and it could, it could be used for any type of business, right? So just the foundational part, own, create and serve. So no matter what, always take extreme ownership for you being the leader, you know, your business, all the stuff that you're pushing forward. If you make mistakes, if you don't get clients results, if you make a bad decision, take extreme ownership to grow as that leader and get better. Then create, right? You're a creator no matter what. As a fitness professional, entrepreneur, business owner, you have to create. So whether you're creating products, um, in-person stuff, whatever it is, service-based business, you are a creator. So whatever you're putting out there, make sure it's really, really good stuff. It's going to help people. And then again, if it fails, take ownership, then serve, right? You're a servant. You're serving people no matter what going forward. So be the ultimate server out there, go above and beyond, um, over deliver all that stuff. <clears throat> all right, Daniel. So I'm going to try to top this guy. That was pretty good. <laughs> so my, my biggest takeaway is um, an acronym that we talk about in the book. It's called ADAPT, A-D-A-P-T. Mm. It's perfect timing right now during the pandemic because you, the fitness professional, you have, to, you have to ask yourself, are you ready to adapt? And the A stands for accept, you know? So are you ready to accept like what's happening right now, that the fitness industry is changing, the landscape is going to be different when we go back into this, okay? So you have to accept that. The A is um, 
or sorry, the D is deliver. Are you ready to deliver? And I mean over deliver, not half ass deliver, like literally while wow, your clients, your community, the people that are uh, supporting you like on social media, all that stuff. You have to be that leader and that expert that they need. Then the A stands for adapt. Again, are you ready to adapt as a fitness professional? And then the PT stands for personal trainer. So are you ready to adapt as a personal trainer? Those both two things, guys, if you take action on it and when you read this book or just even just take action on what you guys said, that would be pretty amazing already. And you are just one step, if not even more ahead than the compared to the competition who is not doing anything, just waiting it out. And now that we heard what's the number one takeaway from the book, I want to know what's their number one advice as of right now in the current state of fitness. So let's find out. I, I would say the biggest thing, you know, is like, I, I wish I had all these answers. You know, we did a, a, a podcast series with 30, you know, for fitness professionals, you know, getting their advice around this pandemic. Like what would happen if like you lost everything and you rebuilt everything on your skills? What are you currently doing right now? Like to um, get through this stuff. And it was a lot of different perspectives on this. Um, but like what I would say, Daniel, is just like, you just have to, you have to reframe your mindset, man, to where like, this is an opportunity. It's not a disaster. It's an opportunity because if you go down, down that route of thinking this is a disaster it's going to screw with your mind your confidence is going to get low you're going to lose that like belief in yourself and when you lose like the belief the certainty and the confidence goes down as a as an entrepreneur man that's a that's a dark path you don't want to go down so do anything you can to just keep training like you know like your mind training your body being around like family people that are constantly uplifting you and just stay positive and just take it one day at a time i mean that's the best advice i can give man i wish it was better yeah. And for me, I like that. I like that, Chris. And for me, it'd just be don't attach yourself to things, right? So again, don't attach yourself to people, relationships, you know, business, because again, we, we, there's so much that's out of our control that we cannot do. Right. And we never know what's going to happen next going forward. So if we don't, if we have that ability and that skill set not to attach ourselves to something, I mean, it's going to make you a stronger entrepreneur, just, you know, EQ wise, just mentally everything. So again, if you, if you're a personal trainer, you know, maybe you were attached to like the gym that you went to and you served again, it was out of your control. What happened? If you were a gym owner, you know, you're attached to your gym, everything, right? Again, there's only so much you can control. So for me, it's just, you know, don't get attached to things. Those are both really great. So uh, thank you for that. And then I hope you guys heard it out and you, it resonates with you because that's something, something that is just spoken from the heart and it's very true. And uh, I also just wanted to, you know, thank everybody listening, of course. We understand how hard it could be. And then for the ones who make amazing opportunity from this, congratulations, because then you're gonna be able to hire all the people that need jobs right now and help the people, you know, move forward. So that's also, thank you for that. And then guys, um, where can people find you right now and where can they uh, find the book eventually? Yeah. And once again, Daniel, thanks for having us on. And yeah, people can find us on, you know, Instagram, you know, at Chris and Eric Martinez. Uh, if you want to get a copy of the book, Rise of the Fit Pros, uh, you can head on over to riseofthefitpros.com and get your book there. It's on Audible as well, too. And, uh, you know, a physical copy as well. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to make sure to link it in so everybody can check it out. And I'm super excited to hear that it's on Audible, too, because uh, it's just really cool to turn it on while you're driving, wherever yeah. you're going, you know, and just listen to it. So that's awesome. And uh, I just wanted to, so uh, thank you so much, guys, you know, for coming on a podcast. I, I know that you're busy and you're working on lots of things and getting busy with the book launch as well. So um, thank you for doing the podcast. And, uh, and again, just thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Daniel. Appreciate it, man. It was really good just catching up before we hit the record button. You know, glad you guys are doing well. Glad you have a good game plan going forward. And yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate yeah, thank you. your friendship and, and, and the, just the relationship we've built over the years. It's been awesome. Thank you guys so much for supporting and watching the podcast. Again, we have done a record new month where we had way more listeners than the month before. So thank you again. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for liking, for sharing. If you haven't liked or rated our podcast, please do. It really helps us a lot to bring amazing guests on the podcast because the first thing they check out is how many people listening to us, how many people sharing it, commenting. And the more you do, the better guests we can get. So thank you so much for that because we just want to give you the best guests that you can possibly get on this podcast for your fitness business. And guys, I just again want to say thank you and I hope you're doing uh, out really good out there and you're being safe with all the riots, with all the crazy things that are happening, you know. Unfortunately, it's a cruel word. Um, I just really hope that you are able to find your niche and you're able to thrive in that. So again, thank you so much. Stay safe.